Hey, so we're here uh, to visit the Queen Mary, a really, really big ship. We're going to go inside, we're going to go on a ghost tour, because, you know, that's totally legitimate. And we're going to um, look at some engineering, and it should be awesome. It won't be for the ghosts. And then we're going to look at the rooms, because it's, it's a hotel, and it's going to be awesome. So join us, won't you? <laughs> as, as Adam the Wood might say. She's a floating hotel, well, no, not a, a, a static and permanently moored hotel and tourist attraction. And people come and visit here. Well, that's quite dark, there's some better light. There we go. And people can come and visit and go on tours. And uh, apparently she's haunted. There's ghosts here, which we're going to see shortly. Although we won't actually see any ghosts because there's no such thing. An elegant ship, though. So we're going to do a little, um, a little talk with Queen Mary. This is the wedding chapel. They're not allowed in because I think they're getting ready for a wedding. People can actually get married here on board the ship. You can see some pews. So that dome there is where the spruce goose used to be held. The world's largest plane to ever fly. The, um, it, was, it was built and piloted by um, Howard Hughes off of, well, Howard Hughes, the guy who also built half of Las Vegas. Sadly, it's now just some sort of security terminal or something. How oh, sad. The carnival imagination a mere whelp of a ship compared to the majesty of the Queen Mary upon which we are stood. It's got a slide though. So you know, there's that. This is amazing. Watch all the engineers involved put this together. Who see every row we turn, everything's held together with these rivets like. How many do you reckon there are with them? On the whole ship? Yeah. Millions. 10 million. 10 million. Shut up. Seriously, they're everywhere. A ship this big, is it going to be at least 10 million rivets? You reckon? Could count them. You want to count them? I'll, yeah, I'll start here. What can we? Okay. I'll start at the back. You can keep this count. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, it's at least ten million. <laughs> and there's some down there. Right? Another so that's ten. Including these ones? No, they're bolts. Oh. Um, okay. Eleven, twelve. Are they then? Oh god, we're not finishing this right. Yeah, there's another ten there. Loads up there. So we've got at least like thirty here. Eight hundred and thirty-two, eight hundred and thirty-three, eight hundred and thirty-four, eight hundred and thirty-five. Isolation words. Only five beds each. They, you know, if you paid for a first class cabin, this would not make you happy, would it? Yeah, I know, but you've got the cold, so down here with you. Ooh. Look at 
Don't make your hands stuck in there. That would really sting you. Yeah. Ah. What is down there? But it is grim AF. I don't What's down there? Pigeon shit. A pigeon shit. Look at it. Look how grim that is. What happened down there? Seven thousand. Seven thousand and one. Seven thousand and two. Seven thousand and three. Seven thousand and four. Restrooms. That means it's the poop deck. <laughs> of the, um, the ship is actually used still as a hotel. This is a fully working hotel with staterooms and you can come and stay here if you want to. Which um, is kind of cool actually. Not sure if I don't want to stay here with people wandering around checking it out but it's quite nice. 8,652,506 Eight million six hundred and fifty-two thousand five hundred and seven. Eight million six hundred fifty. What? Nine two. No. no. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> One, two, three. the Queen Mary had that no other ship of its time had was an ice machine. State of the art. Good view up there. So many portals in this ship. How many portals do you reckon? <laughs> what? How many portals do you reckon? Uh, okay, no. About 2,000. 2,000? <laughs> yeah. Count. I reckon you should keep count of these. Count portals and count rivets. You don't need rivets. You've got like, like 8 million and I lost count. Okay. So portals next then. Fuck. <laughs> Number one. One. <laughs> Queen Mary was also famous for... Um, 1937 being the first ship to have Diet Coke in a bottle. That. It's vintage. Way before New Coke. Then it spoiled everything. 851. 852. Our deck. This is just some old safes and strong boxes. And they look so heavy. They're hard to even push on a hinge, they're so heavy. So those look like um, watertight doors which can um, close in an emergency. Like you can, oh, it says there. Oh yeah, it was the Titanic disaster of 1912 and now such safety features. <gasps> each door is capable of standing 30 tons of pressure. And all Shouldn't that say 30 tons of pressure? Yeah, I know, it's weird. And all 38 will close automatically from the bridge in less than one minute. Impressive. Fire suppression. Fire extinguishers. There's a portal. 1,857. So we're climbing some stairs here to the front of the ship. Very, very front. You can do like a Titanic thing. Iceberg, dead ahead. Or something. No icebergs today. So we're heading up to the, um, the bow. The very, very front of the ship. And it's got some sort of Sea controls. I wonder what they're for. The 
have no idea what these are for. Six thousand four hundred and twenty-nine. Do you think it still works? Check it out. Let's. let's oh, yes. Yeah. And what if you put it on? Leave two full full steam. More more ah, spiders. More power to the fucking spiders. <laughs> I, I think I think we're going to set sail now. And we're, all, we're all set. That's all you're going to do is just move levers according to the movies yeah. and avoid spiders. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we're all set. Uh, rope rope things by by Sephora and big chains. Yeah, the biggest chains are. That's like that's like that's like B A Baraka size chain. Yeah. What the size on that? It's a bit of Portuguese, isn't it? She's almost getting lifted these things. Heavier than they look. <laughs> <laughs> right. Deercraft cannon. Look at that bad boy. Electrically powered, iron sighted. So, um, a little known fact about the Queen Mary. It was just how much care the, the, um, when, they, when they made the ship, uh, pigeons were a real problem. And, and so they put these cannons in to stop pigeons, because what they could then, they could then shoot the pigeons before they could shit all over the guests. And it proved to be quite successful. Um, it's a little extreme. Submarine for going under the sea. Yeah, that's the submarine that is. It's not very really big though. Well, it's kind of big. Yeah. Wouldn't want to be hit with it. So this is the, um, the promenade deck where aristocratic gentlemen may come and smoke their, their pipes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. Could you, have, could you smoke pipes on a ship? Are you asking me? Yeah, how do you do? I would, I would have no idea. I would imagine they could. I always think you always know all the facts. <laughs> that is the world's largest Lego ship. Seriously, that is a big ship. I wonder what um I wonder what store you buy that from. That's a big kit that. I don't think you can buy that in a normal Lego store, to be honest. That's a lot of Lego right there. Has he got facts? Fact me. One million burritos. Close. That's pretty close. Six hundred four pounds. That's a lot of Legos right there. Just, can you find the cat? Oh. There's a cat. Oh, I want to find the cat. I want to find the cat now. It looks like it's in like separate pieces. You can see like joins there, and there's another one there.
I have not found the cat. I can hear a cat. I can hear the cat. Oh no, it's that. Oh no, it's a green accent. <laughs> Sounds like a cat. That's another cat. I thought I had. Creepy they? Creepy, creepy dolls. Why would children want to play with them unless they're like going to murder you when you sleep? Yeah. In fact, I had a guest on a history tour share with me when her father was the first officer during that incident. He told her it was like slicing through butter. But no one on board the Queen Mary knew what was going on until they saw both sides of the Curacao blowing along the sides and sinking. They came rushing down. They found right up over here an 11 foot breach. That's over in the center of the ship, actually. How much access do we have outside of the tour? Just everything that's um, located on the map. Okay. That was good to you. Come in. Okay, so do we have just about everybody? Okay. Like, I felt so creepy, and I haven't said that. That was even before. Mm -hmm. Where is it? I thought I heard someone run down there earlier. I know it wasn't. They do? They don't, they don't swing though. Oh, and they'll I'm proud of I'm proud of the cats. 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 I'm proud Eight million six hundred fifty-two thousand five hundred and seven. Eight million six hundred fifty. What? Nine two. No. no. Seven. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> One, two, three. If that's torture, I'll be right there to be honest. Uh, here are some. Um... <laughs> what? State of the art. What? A vibrating chair. That's what you want. Why are you doing all this weight bullshit in order to do a sit on a chair that vibrates? Oh, riding machine. Okay. She had three matless panels. One must have been taken down recently. It's a bit busy, isn't it? That's not, that's not, that's not a cruise. Oh, there's, yeah, look, there's the wretch. Yeah. They've built this box that extends to the outside of the hull, and they've enclosed the propeller, or a one of four propellers, for us to see. It's huge! So huge! <laughs> It's, it's, yeah, they've built this like a box to show the propeller. Did you still have like a diver on there? Did you still have a diver? Okay, so that's the back, so this pushes the ship forwards. That's the, that's the side of the ship. There. That's the outside hull. This is Where's the bow? That's the stern, that's the bow. Where's the bow? And this, this is a box they built to, to show the propeller. Does it just come out to the side? Or is it just the side one? I think there's one, there's one, one right below us, and one right there we can see.
Yes, the outside hull. We have found a propeller of this pub. Well, it's steel, and there's quite a lot of it. That is the back of the boat. And those, those rams you can see, the hydraulic, and you can see, see these, these lines here? Oil gets pumped into these rams and fills these chambers, and they move at the other end of the chamber. That's the end of it, that's the, that's the piston, essentially where the cylinder out of the, the, the piston head is. And it pushes that ram right there, or the on the other side, right there. And the electric motors behind this, here, are what pump oil down these black pipes, and they push the rudder left to right, and that's how the ship is steered. Hydraulics. This is a remote steering room to control the rudder. Normally this would be handled from the bridge, but it could be done down here. And that semaphore you can see there, moving that um, to different speeds. So the bridge would say what speed you want, and then down here they'd acknowledge that they've reached that speed by moving that lever. So, or rather that's not speed, sorry, that's uh, um, direction. So if, if up on the bridge the captain would yell hard to port, and a little arrow would go ding ding ding, it would move hard to port, and then down here they'd acknowledge and swing that over hard to port, and then the, uh, the captain would know that the order has been acknowledged. Because they didn't have walkie talkies back in the 30s. There's a compass, it's on a gimbal, so no matter which way, so when the ship is pitch, pitching and yawing in the ocean, that compass will always be true. How cool is that? No idea what that is. So much engineering. It's like being in the warp nacelles of the Star Trek, Star Trek, of the USS Enterprise. shafts. Those things make the big ass propeller spin at the back. Look at this. Inside there, because they can't have one single piece of steel to make a propeller shaft, they have to bolt them together. They have to make the shafts in, in several pieces. And these things monitor the difference between that side and that side. Engineers will really love this and they can tell if the propeller shaft is twisting because these engines can produce so much power to drive a 35 ton propeller at the other end that they have to make sure that the propeller shaft isn't twisting too much because if it twists and keeps twisting then it'll snap. It can break the propeller shaft they have these torque gauges here, they can tell if the shafts are twisting out of shape. How much torque do you have to be frightened of that that thing can bend? Fuck! It's at the very bottom. Literally what you 
just said. Yeah. But I can assure you this is not edited. No, it really isn't. So there are these huge bearing mounts. There are these huge, I think you see there's one right there. So all the way along, and you can see that uh, under those nickel there is where oil is forced into these under pressure. So, so those things are constantly under pressure from oil to keep the river deep because they spin and they support the weight of these gigantic prop shafts. But inside there, there's a little plaque here that shows the, that they have electric components in them that measure the torque of the shaft. Which just makes sure, it says you have to determine horsepower. So I, I, I suspect what that means is this, they know how much power the shaft can handle before it snaps, before it shears or breaks. And so they measure that they're not sending too much power to the shaft to cause a catastrophic failure or a very expensive repair. It's fixing those in cheap. You buy a second hand car and you get a funny little groan sometimes when you change, the, change gears. And it could be the thrust bearing that's gone because it doesn't, the, the drop differential can fail. It's about the size of, I don't know, a melon. <laughs> There's a thrust bearing for one of the drive shafts, the propeller shafts for Green Mary. It's huge, it's bigger than the car. <laughs> So the, so the power is, being, is coming here. Right, it's coming through the gear reduction, yeah. made it here, and yeah. this. And that's what changes that. Yeah, look at this side. It's on this side too. It's huge. So under there, that's where all the power comes from. That spins very quickly and rotates to that, which doesn't turn so quickly. So all of that is converted into power at that gear. We've got um, it's a so we call it worm screw. We can see one exposed quite clearly that side. So right down there is a worm screw, which engages with that big cog, and that spins and spins and spins and transfers power to that big ass. Turning gear. Do you reckon they could get this going again? You, you could. It would take an awful lot of work, but I mean, they built it from nothing, from bits of you know, metal, so yeah. What's this with the window in? Was that window there before? No, no. Oh, yeah, no, no. Uh, this would have been a manifold from here. And they've taken the manifold off. And put, yeah, that's the gearbox. That is the only your car gearbox in Robert Martin got a five speed. But that's the gearbox for this. So in here you've got a spinning gear, and behind there you've got a massive spinning gear. And finally, the steam powered engines, these are the turbines that drive those up. This the right there. So when you turbo in your car, and it's two chambers with an induction chamber and an exhaust chamber. It's about that big. So it's your car's table. These generators and turbines right here are the ones that power this Queen Mary. How do you work with this guy? It's a bit bigger. That is a little more, a little less ergonomic than my car. Pressure gauges. I mean, look at it. Who has to climb up there and read those? I mean, that is not ergonomic. That's, that's not a gauge that you get to read every day. Ah, that's the high pressure steam. Look. Oh, look at that. Look at the size of that. It's like a house.
So something I didn't know about these engines is the the condens the condensation that is usually waste that you see um, certainly in some steam locomotives is used to condense water, which was then cooled and pushed back into the system to act as coolant. So they reused the condensation as a form of coolant. That's so cool. Crazy thing, back in the UK, people go absolutely apeshit for these coke trucks. Here they're just like everywhere. I know world. So there we go, that was the Queen Mary. How awesome was that? She's amazing. She's better than I remember. It was last year, 40 years ago. And um, the tour is a little different. You sort of just wander around now. That's kind of nice, so you can just stand and check things out. And we learned loads of facts. Like there's over 10 million bolts, and we know because we counted them twice. And over 2,000 portals, and we counted them twice too, because, because you know, details. And she's crossed the Atlantic 1,000 and one times. The one small was just because of you know why not. So um, how awesome is that? Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't like, and like, mainly like and subscribe, those are the best. Thanks, thanks so much guys. I'll see you next time, bye. Queen Mary fact. The Queen Mary is 1,100, oh, fuck that up.